Only on 12 News, scorpion stings. Some of them can pack a powerful punch and they can be painful. Some of the most severe cases can be deadly without an anti-venom. But now the venom, the actual venom that can paralyze prey and hurt you if it stings you, is being used to help fight diseases like cancer and it's becoming more widely accepted. Team 12's Mike Gonzalez shows us the positive medical effects that scorpion venom can have. Yeah. They're creepy, crawly, kind of scary, and their venom causes pain, and in extreme untreated cases, even death. Scorpions have the reputation of being one of the most feared predators in the desert, but that can soon change. Their potentially deadly venom could also be the reason for saving lives. A possible miracle medicine used to treat migraines, take the pain out of rheumatoid arthritis, increase appetite during chemotherapy, even illuminate cancerous cells during brain surgery. You know, venoms have uh, throughout history been um, have, have been used to develop certain types of medication. Dr. Dan Kwan is a toxicologist with the Maricopa Medical Center. He's been studying the effects of venom for years and says the use of scorpion venom to treat disease is not as strange as it might sound. I can tell you that venoms in general probably have hundreds of different proteins within their composition. So to select out a certain protein is, is the goal of a lot of, uh, you know, drug company and therapeutics. Researchers across the world, including Arizona State University, the University of Arizona, and the Fred Hutchison Cancer Center in Seattle are all looking into the powers of scorpion venom. The medicine Escozine uses blue scorpion venom. Its makers say the drug can relieve pain, inflammation, improve energy and appetite in those going through cancer treatments. The drug is available in the U.S. and more popular than ever. There could be a component within that venom that we are uh, still working on that may be effective. But while there have been some proven positive effects of scorpion venom, there's still a ways to go before it becomes mainstream. Using, let's say, uh, a natural treatment such as blue scorpion venom alone may or may not be beneficial. Even chemotherapies have their, their uh, pluses and minuses. So, you know, it really depends. You have to do your homework and talk to the, the practitioner and what's best for some may not be for others, especially when it comes to the venom in these guys guys back over to you.